importance of a shepherd. What is a shepherd or what does a shepherd do? A shepherd does basically four things. Uh, number one, he provides. Write this down if you're taking note. A shepherd, number one, provides. The Bible said that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. You got to understand that everything you need is in the Lord. You should not be without anything you need. Again, you may not have everything you want, but you need to learn how to praise God for giving you everything you need. He is number one, provide. So the shepherd is a provider. Number two, he is a protector. He protects his sheep. So we know that he provides for his sheep and he protects his sheep. And number three, he directs his sheep. Someone say directs or he leads his sheep. And number four, he feeds his sheep. Someone say feeds. We must ask ourselves the question, why does the Bible speak of us as sheep? Why does the Bible speak of the Lord as a shepherd? Uh, we, we can think of so many other animals that we could be compared to, Bill, because uh, a sheep is not very tough. A sheep, matter of fact, uh, a carrier sheep is not really smart. A, a, a sheep is just, is kind, he's kind of dumb. He, he, he does, he, it's half the time he does not know what he's doing when he's doing it. He's just doing it. And that's like some of the people of God. That's like sometimes we do stuff and we don't even know why we're doing it, but we just do it. We say it's in our nature. So a sheep has a certain nature about him. So Isaiah 53 and 6 says this. Why does God compare us to a sheep? He says, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him, the Lord, the iniquity of us all. We must, under, we must ask ourselves the question, why are the people of God identified as sheep? Well, we're identified as sheep is because without the Lord, we will go astray. Without the Lord leading us, we won't know what to do. A, a, a sheep is an explorer. And a sheep will leave the rest of the pack just to go on his own way and not understand the dangers uh -huh, of going out by himself. And some saints are like that. They don't think they need anybody else. They think it can just be them and God and they're fine just the way it is. But you're going to need somebody to pray for you. That's why the psalmist wrote, somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. And Bill, I'm so glad that they prayed. Took the time to pray for me. Everybody needs somebody. But a sheep, a, a, a sheep will go off by himself and he won't even know the dangers that lie ahead of him. And so when he leaves the rest of the flock, he is in danger of suffering some great violence. You got so many people that leave from one church to the next. One minute that they're there at this church and the next minute they're at that church. One minute they want to be a member at this church and the next minute they want to be a member at another church. You got to understand when you keep going astray like that, you are heading for trouble that you don't even realize. You are heading for a destruction that you don't even see. And that's why the Lord had put pastors in front of us to lead us. Pastors after God's own heart. Pastors that don't want your money but want your soul. Pastors that don't want your money but want your friendship. Pastors that don't want your money but want to see you say, God has put men and women of God in leadership that love the people of God. And a true shepherd loves his sheep. He understands that if I don't lead my sheep, then who will? You see, the sheep don't know that the wolf is just right around the corner. But the shepherd is always watching. As a matter of fact, the sheep never even get their heads up when they're eating and they're grazing. They put their heads down and the shepherd is to watch for the wolf. Mm -hmm. He's to watch for the wolf, Kim, that comes and eats the sheep. Again, sheep are not very smart. 
I don't care how smart you think you are. When it comes to the attack of the devil, you're really not that smart. That's why we need the Lord on our side. We can't do it by ourselves, but we've got to go to the word of God and ask God, what must I do to fight against this thing? You're no match. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're no match. Oh, help me out here. You're no match for the devil. The devil is stronger than you really give him credit for. The devil is tougher than you really give him credit for. You got to understand that you're no match for the devil on your own. But by the grace of God, when the Lord leads you, when the Lord provides for you, when the Lord protects you, I'm telling you, everything will be on. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why am I not going to fear for he's with me? His rod and his staff, they comfort me. And here's where we get to the meat of our text. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Uh -huh. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I need some help this morning. I need somebody to be my enemy. Somebody be my enemy. I need somebody to be my enemy. Come here, enemy. Give me one enemy. Somebody come up here. I know you love me, but give me, thank you, deacon. Hold your enemy. Hold your enemy. All right, come on. Hold your enemy right here. I want to show you how the Lord will bless you. Turn your enemy to the saints of God. That's the enemy of low, what does that say? Peer pressure. I need another enemy. Will somebody give me, be, be another enemy for me? Come on, somebody come on. Come on, come on. But I wish the kids was here because I gave money out last time. They'd be running. What's that one say? Sickness, sickness. That's, that's, that's an enemy right there, isn't it? Enemy. Enemy, I want to show you how God will bless you in the presence of your enemy. Come here, faith. Come here, faith. Come here, come here, come here. Hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. I need you to go in the back here in the women's restroom here in a second. Hold that, hold that, faith. What's that say? What's that say? Worry. Show it to everybody. Show it to everybody. I want to show you how the Lord will bless you in the presence of your enemy. Someone say he's going to bless me in the presence of my enemy. Come here, Ed. Come here, Ed. Come here, Ed. Come here, run, 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 run quickly, run quickly, run quickly. I know, I know, look at this, look at this. Hold that up, hold that up, hold that up. Your finances, some of us are struggling with our finances. We can't pay attention, we can't put a freak, we can't put a, 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 a Dorito on layaway, our finances are so messed up. How many, some of you ever been there, you, your finances are so messed up, you don't even have enough money to pay attention. Come here, brother Bill, come here, would you come here? Come here, come here, Billy, you follow your dad up here, you follow your dad up here. I want you to stand around me, because I want to show you how the Lord will bless you in the presence of your enemy. Here, here's another enemy, doubt. Doubt. That's an enemy. That's an enemy of your mind when you begin to doubt the things that God has done in your life and can do in your life. And here's the last enemy that I see that some of us suffer from and we may not even know it. It's low self-esteem. We don't think highly enough of ourselves to even take care of ourselves. We don't think highly enough of ourselves to eat right. We don't think highly enough of ourselves to get enough rest. We just put our body through anything. But you've got to understand that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And when you are using your body for the ministry of God, you you got to learn how to take care of that body and if something is messing with you you got to learn how not to do it anymore if something is beating you up you got to so here I am in the presence of all of my enemies get close to me enemies get close to me get close to me don't stand in front of me you ain't got it. You ain't made it that far, sickness. You'll never stand in front of me. Doubt, you'll never stand in front of me. Worry, you'll never stand in front of me. But here are my enemies and they surround me. And just take your, take your paper and put it on my back. And that's what the devil tries to do is he tries to put your enemies on your back. Stay with me, Tim. He's trying to put your problems and your situations on your back. But, but watch, watch what God does. He said the Lord is... My shepherd, Brandon, bring me that chair right there. That chair, hurry up. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in greed pastures. 
He leadeth me beside the still waters. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And then it goes on to say, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And watch this, even in the midst of my enemies, Charlene, God will set you down at the table while your enemies are all around you. <laughs> hey! And even when your enemies are around you, they're pressing you. Watch this. He'll prepare that not only will he set the table before you, but come here, he'll prepare it. Someone say he's preparing something for me. And what God does, he does right. He has the finest china. He has the greatest food. He doesn't give you a, a lack, but God gives you the best. Tell somebody, God gives me the best. And even in the midst of my enemies, God will prepare a table before me and he'll make it look nice and pretty even though there's trouble all around me he makes my table look nice and pretty oh, yes is there anybody in here that's ever lost their appetite because of what the devil's putting you through but I come to tell you that the Lord will prepare he'll put some chicken on it watch what God does Watch what God does. He gives you the best to drink. He, 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 when you with God, you don't drink this is sparkling apple cider. Don't you send me to hell. When you in God, he don't give you no cheap stuff. He gives you the best. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He gives you the best. Watch this. Watch this. And he did it in the presence of mine enemies. And why did he do it in the presence of mine enemies? I, I, need, I need some more help. I need Brother Howe. I need, I need Minister Howe and I need Elder Garns up here. I need Minister Howe and Elder Garns. Come quickly, sirs. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Even in the presence of mine enemies. Come on, somebody. Pam, go get the anointing oil. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Watch this, watch this. Stand there. One of you stand there. One of you stand over there. Watch this. Even in the presence of mine enemy, thou anoints my head with oil. And when God gives it to you, not only does he anoint your head with oil, but he calls your cup. doesn't stop it at the top and he causes your cup to run over someone say run over and because of this sister God he said surely goodness get behind me goodness push all my doubt away and mercy get behind me get him off my back shall follow me all the days of my life hey when you know that God is with you he'll set you down at a table and you'll be able to feast on the things of God put your hands together and give God some praise and so stay with me goodness stay with me mercy I close by saying this God's not going to bring you out from your enemies but he's going to bless you in the midst of your enemies he's going to anoint your head with oil he's going to it's alright he's going to have your cup run over surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life what do you mean everywhere I go there's goodness and mercy whatever I go through there's goodness and mercy wherever I've been there's goodness and mercy